Well, the idea is you can use it on a desk like a normal mouse, or you can pick it up and use it in the air. And I can point just by moving the nose of the mouse around. So the whole idea behind this mouse is actually entertainment. We uh, started developing this about two years ago, and we looked at trends that affected the PC industry, in particular mice. And we saw people were spending a lot of time with entertainment on their PCs. You look um, at home, and you know they'll do email and you know occasional work, but people spend a lot of time in the evenings watching um, or video clips online, you know, browsing the web, organizing their photos, listening to music, whole variety of tasks. And when they do those activities, they lean back. Even if they're at their desk with the notebook system, you'll see them, they'll be up at their desk working, and then when it comes time to browse the web or watch a video clip, they lean back. The problem is their arm is still outstretched on the desk. So we thought, you know, we could really make this a much more interactive experience, more intuitive experience, similar to how you watch TV. You know, you just lean back and you pick up your remote control and you click. You don't have to have your arm out here. So we thought, you know, for those people who are consuming entertainment on their desk, great. You know, it just helps them interact in a more natural way with their PC. Now, the other group of people are those who have a media center system, and they have it plugged into their TV in the living room. And in that case, it really made a lot of sense because using a traditional mouse on the couch isn't comfortable. The arm is not in a comfortable position. It just don't work that well. In fact, when we interviewed people in focus groups, they all told us, you know, P uh, mice, they don't belong in the living room. PC peripherals don't belong in the living room. They're made for the desktop. I want something that matches my living room environment. So that's what really drove the design of this mouse. We want something very sleek and elegant to go with the, you know, your flat panel TV. Um, and plus, it had to be comfortable and you know, to use on the desk. And right. in the so the way it works is when it's on the desk, it has a laser sensor. And you know, it works like a normal mouse. But once you pick it up, it shift, it turns off the laser sensor, and there is um, it uses MEMS technology. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Oh, yeah. So it has a dual-axis MEMS gyroscope inside it to detect motion in the air, angular motion specifically, and then it uses an accelerometer so the mouse knows which way is up. Now that's important because if I want to hold the mouse sideways in my hand, I move the nose up, the cursor will still go up on the screen. If we didn't have that, if I held it sideways and moved the nose up, the cursor would go sideways. So it counteracts for the angle you hold the mouse at. When you pick it up, I just hold it like a remote control with my fingers under the mouse, and all you need to do is move the nose of the mouse around. I actually don't need to point at the screen. I can point over here, still control the cursor, I can even point backwards if I want. So what technology do you use to communicate with a PC? It's, uh, we use wireless technology. It has a 2.4 gigahertz receiver here, about a 30 foot range. So all the motion computation is done on the mouse. Everything's inside the mouse and it just sends that X, Y axis signal and the button clicks through wirelessly through this receiver. So you can plug that into a notebook or desktop system. So, so and I'm curious, how can you, how do you know where you are in, in the screen as, because um, the mouse doesn't know that you're like... Uh, exactly, I could be pointing down, but yeah. it still knows. So the gyroscope picks up motion and it converts it into the XY axis. And then you just, as you move the mouse around, for example, I'm pointing at the screen right now. Right. When I hit the edge of the screen, the cursor actually stops it. On this monitor, it goes off the side of the screen. On uh, some others, it doesn't. But if I move over here, now I, can, I bring the cursor back again. So you just kind of reset your position in space, and it's everything's within this little window here when you move the mouse. But I can be pointing over here, and the cursor is still within this little area. So it's all relative to wherever you're holding the mouse. Do, do you have to do a, a setup prior to, to start using this? You don't. You can take it out of the box, plug this in, it works. The computer doesn't know if the mouse is on the desk or in the air. It doesn't really care. It just, it knows it's getting mouse data. So it knows where, you know, where the cursor should be. 
Now, we do include software that you can install, and that adds support for some of the extra features on it, but you don't need to install the software, it's optional. So, of course, we recommend it because you'll get full, all the features will be supported then. Is that the first time that uh, Dodge X has a, an air, air mount? Yes. Yep, it is. So we spent a lot of time, we spent the last two years developing this, a lot of time you know, tuning the behavior, optimizing it, trying to make it a very natural experience. And that's the whole idea behind it. You should be able to just pick it up and point in a very intuitive way. There's usually a little learning curve for people. You know, it's a new, most people have never done this sort of thing before, but uh, you pick it up very quickly. And you know, the idea is you don't have to hold it level, you don't have to make big arm movements, you can just have the mouse here in your lap, you know, I can lean back and you just move the nose of the mouse around. Like that. Is there anything like this in the market already? There is one other product, um, it's by a company called Gyration. It's based on different technology, however, it has a uh, mechanical gyroscope. So this is much more responsive, lower latency. Also, with that particular product, you have to keep it level in the air. If you tilt it, the cursor does to work out angle. Okay. On this one, you can hold it any way you like. I can even hold it upside down and still knows which way is up. Pricing? Really Pricing, it is 149 and it will, we are announcing it on July 12th, and it will be available in retail by the end of August. So it's rechargeable as well, has a lithium-ion battery, about five days of battery life. There is something, I sh actually a couple features I should show you. So one, you notice there's no scroll wheel on it. And we took that off for aesthetic reasons. You know, it's just, the wheel just didn't look right on the shape, but we replaced it with the scroll panel. So what we did though, is we have what we call hyper-fast scrolling, something we introduced last year on the, on the keyboard or so. I think it was uh, the panel, oh, yes, yeah. exactly. So if I can do is slide my finger up and down the panel, scroll slowly, you know, with precision. But if I flip my finger across the panel, you can scroll multiple lines at a time. And if you go really fast, and I just went to the end of a 50-page document, right back up to the top. So once you get used to scrolling like this, you can't go back to normal scroll wheel. Right? You get used to the speed, and it's really handy on web pages where often you know you need to be at the bottom or top, and you just flick it, you're there instantly. There's no more you know, moving your finger, giving your finger a workout, very easy. The other thing that's nice with an Air Mouse, um, it will work with any media application, but, or demonstration here, I like to use media center, it's a nice interface. One of the advantages is, when I go into my picture library, if I have a standard, um, well if I use a remote control that comes with any media center PCs, you have to use your arrow keys to navigate. And if you have hundreds of pictures in the folder, it's, you know, it's a pain to go through there with arrow keys. Here, you know, I can just scroll. I just point my touch edge of the screen, it scrolls automatically. I can open up a folder and I can just point it whatever I want. There's no need to use arrow keys to go down. I can open up this picture, there's a play button on the mouse, and it starts the slideshow automatically. So very And that's because you installed the uh, the software. Actually, uh, this functionality you don't need the software for. It will work without the software. And um the software does give you some other features though. Um, I'll show you one thing actually. So there's a back button on the mouse. That's how I navigate Media Center with the back button. Same as, it's just like a web browser. You go forwards and backwards in it. Now, I have albums here. So I can scroll through my CDs. I'll click one, I click play album. It starts playing. If I want to change the volume, you could go down to the little volume controls on your application, but it's easier actually to just hold the volume button down and move the mouse to the right or left. So if that, when I have the volume button held down, it knows if it's going right or left, that's just the volume. I actually recommend holding it like a remote control. So you can left click here or here. There's a the select button. It's the same as left closing. Yeah. You know, we really see this technology as something that it enables a new way to interact with your PC in a much more intuitive way. It's like, especially when you're using media, you know, just like I said, you can pick up your TV remote and click. Same thing now with your mouse. It's perfect sense if you do have a media center PC in the living room, but even at your desk, it's still, I, my personal experience, I use this mouse all day, every day. 